Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Past Teacher of Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to be here, and I'm glad that you came back to watch more episodes here on the channel. Today, we are going to be playing a game called The Inner World by Head Up Games, GmbHCo.kg. I'm assuming that's actually what the name. They actually are a European or German company. That's what that is. The GmbH is like the LTD of German companies, I think, as far as I remember. But yeah, uh, the Inner World has an interesting art style, as you can see, with the main characters. I don't know if this is a co-op adventure, or a platformer, or... I honestly don't remember much about this game from whenever it was given to me to play, so it's been a bit of a while since I've actually uh, pulled down a copy of this. And I apologize profusely to the developers, because it just ended up being one of those things where it got pushed and pushed and pushed, and I'm finally getting down to play it now. So I'm going to check it out and see what the big deal is of the inner world. There we go. Sorry, the background audio was actually playing from a Spotify list as well. That would have been a cover of one of the tunes from RE0. The name was up on the screen for you to actually check them out. Hey, Dum Dum, bring me Gum Gum. Ooh, I like the tune of this already. So, what is the inner world and where are we going exploring inside it? So, yeah, German. So, I actually saw the name, uh, the language sentence there. So, yeah, we'll pop up that speech movie up to maximum. Sound effects down tiny touch. Uh, music down tiny touch just to make sure. But, uh, sometimes games, just the audio mix is a little bit off and that leaves me in a situation where I'm constantly trying to tweak it up and down for the dialogue. So yeah, that's us done. Happy days. Let's jump right into the gameplay. So it looks weird, I actually like the art style. It's a bit Ren and Stimpiest of uh, the uh, the creature designs, but I'm curious to find out more. Mm, I'm interested. Loading, loading, loading. This is the screen while loading. Look at that leaf on the loading screen. Hi. Against all likelihood, there exists a universe consisting only of soil. Deep inside lies a vast, spherical world. Its people call it Asposia. Air enters this world through the three holy wind fountains. To this day, the origin of the wind is widely disputed. But the fact that it is dying out little by little is undeniable. Without the wind, the light went out. Without the light, the warmth went away. And in the cold darkness, the wind gods came. They have been haunting the Asposians ever since their petrifying stairs. The only wind fountain still blowing is guarded by the abbot Conroy. He has devoted his life to leading the Asposians through these dark, cold times. Every day, Conroy preaches of austerities <laughs> in hope that the wind gods will one day be appeased and the wind will return. He is often observed by his young apprentice, Robert, whom Conroy has raised like a son. Well, not like his own son, of course. Huh? I'm loving the design, it's such a, like, this just makes, would make a really good animated cartoon unto itself. not allowed to take that. It belongs to Conroy. I polish it every day for him. Pretty, isn't it? Oh, look what it can do. Conroy says it reminds him of the most beautiful day of his life. Of course, he's never told me what that means. But you know what I think? It has something to do with that. Okay. <laughs> I bet you've seen a lot, hmm? Being a pigeon. You know, I've never been allowed to leave the palace <gasps> because of my strange holes. I wish I had stripes like everybody else. But Hello. <laughs> I knitted it myself so that no one will be afraid and of me. And if the bazillion oh, turn you uh, to uh, stone, <clears throat> it's your own fault. Oh, these ungrateful worms. I'm only trying to help them. <clears throat> oh. <sighs> 
Robert, my dear boy, play my song. How many times do I have to tell you? One note, one beat. Hmm? Uh oh. Heck, edit. Uh oh. No. Why is that pigeon so powerful now? No. What idiot let that thing in here? Uh, don't worry, pigeon. I trusted you. I'll save your pendant. Oh. No, Robert, boy, stay here. Guard. Bring me the hedgehog. What did I do? Uh, hey! Oh. I know I've actually not been great since 2006, but you don't have to put me in a game like this. Totally not gnarly. I'll catch it. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Pidgey, pidgey, pidgey. No, I can figure it out. Yep, there we go. I can take it. And there we go. Taking a crutch. Oh, now the crutch's tip broke off. I hope the crutch's owner doesn't come back. Although I'd be faster anyways. Womp womp. Rather not. He looks like he's upset with me again. Ah. Oh, this is awesome. fabulous. Awesome. I feel like I'm actually playing a character like Shattered Fingers. Oh, my rusty spoon. Don't take down the posters. Hello, can you help me? That depends on what you need. Garbage? Garbage? Pardon? No, not me. <laughs> Nobody's stealing garbage here. Especially not No, me. never. I would not well, be I'm dealing with the garbage. Go. Do you need garbage? <laughs> right. Can you help me? I have to catch that pigeon. Sorry, kid. If I leave my spot, everyone will steal my garbage. But who would... I only see one potential suspect. Okay, what kind of garbage do you have? Here? Well, I don't want to brag, but I have the best garbage in Esposia. You sell stinking garbage? Ah, I see. You're an expert. Since when are you into garbage? I've, um, always thrown it away so far. Well, then don't be shy. Go ahead and look around my little shop. Delightful. What is in the shop? Letter, sandwich, bird feed. What's that? It's the best bird feed. I swear, no creature with wings can resist it. Great. That's exactly what I need. Can I have it? For a few asporororo. Asporororo. Asparoro. Asparo -ri. Sounds great. What's that? That's the price for the bird feed. I see. And what does that mean? Okay, I get it. You want to negotiate. Do I? What do you think of Asporora? Aspora? Are you trying to insult me? Okay. What do you think of Aspororo? And I'll even throw in this Conroy dog. Oh, very cute. 
He who works without a moan, the bazillions won't turn to stone. I am not a crook. I really don't need that. Do you have any idea what features this doll has? Conroy's health is good and fine. So be nice and wait in line. Conroy knows what's you good for you. So, That's make sure to tie up your shoes. I'm, I, I, am I meant to be recording these correctly? But really no lower. I have no idea what you're talking about. Can't you just give me the bird feed? Okay, that is fine. Pardon? A speedy. Why are you yelling at me? Oh, jeez, okay. I'll give you the feed for Esps. Are you happy now? Um, I don't know. What? Okay, I'll give you the doll on top of that. Agreed? Just take it. Does this mean I can have the feed and the doll for free? Yes, I told you. How much more do you want to humiliate me? Thank you. You're very nice. And you are the most cunning, cold-hearted as potion I've ever had the displeasure to me. <laughs> oh, I I'm very... I'm sorry for that, but uh, thank you for the feed. Thank you for the feed. Oh, hey, we got the bird feed as well. Happy days. Filled with fermented nectarine juice. How long has that been like? Fermented? Mmm, delicious. Smells like Tuesday. Smells like last Tuesday. A year ago. Not last Tuesday. That's a whole year ago. Anything in the garbage? I don't want, nah, any I don't want anything those in there. Things. So we don't want to go anywhere yet, I imagine. But we need to get to this bird. There's a fish on the windowsill. I wonder how it got up there. So, what do we have? We have... Oh, there we go. Try to catch the pigeon. Yeah, of course. When you reach the windowsill, the pigeon seems to be interested in the fish. Uh, maybe you can get something... Can You can somehow get the fish down. This could work with a slingshot. Build a slingshot to be able to shoot the fish down from the windowsill. This could work with the broken crutch, but you still need an elastic strap. Yeah. The worm looks pretty elastic. Yeah, that's what we're thinking. Maybe you can catch it somehow. It's so fast to catch it. Maybe there is a way to slow down its reflexes. Work with alcohol. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Ah, how do I use my items? Hmm? Mm, there we go. So we want to use the bottle of juice. Use it. Ooh, that smells disgusting. And use it with that. Hi, worm. You look thirsty. Are we in for a scene to loot? Uh, did I kill the game? What happened? I mean, the audio completely stopped there as well. Oh man, did I run into a game breaking bug within the first puzzle? Ah, balls. Maybe we have to actually stop this and restart it again. Uh, we'll jump in. I could skip all the previous conversations, I imagine, but um, that's not good. Uh, Bad bats to actually run into a game breaking puzzle on your first one. Uh, guys, a bit of playtesting might be a little bit more required for this not to happen. Um, sorry, I didn't mean for that. But Fizzbin, it, this game looks cute. The audio is really, really nice. It does remind me, uh, it sounds like the guy from Saddle Fingers is playing the main character in this. Um, the world obviously is probably going to get a lot more interesting really quickly. But um, yeah, this the, I'm annoyed that I actually got, I literally solved the first puzzle and then immediately the game crashes, but we'll see what we can do. So what have I got? All right, cool. So, worm, eat that. 
and use this. Hi, worm. You look thirsty. Hey, it worked this time. Come here. Oh, die. Right, let's see what we got here. We gotta get in. So we need to grab that and use it with that. I guess he doesn't notice much anymore. Hey, time around it. And we then use, whoa, we then use that with that. Yep, loaded slingshot. So what should I shoot at first? <laughs> and we go to that and use this and use that. Good old fashioned point and click well, adventure I happiness. Hope I won't hurt it. Well, Worm, now you're free again. But I'll keep this cork. And use the bird feed bullet. Hey, the bag is empty. What's the matter? Do you want your money back? Uh, I can keep the thread. Oh, okay. Well, pick that up. It's totally greasy. I can't grab it. No, now is no time to fool around. No, now okay. is no time to fool around. In that case, do we need to take that and the sock and use the thread with it? If I tie the end of the window. With three. Yeah. We have a net. I'll have a great net. I can't do that. What should I catch with it? Boom! You can't escape. Hey! <clears throat> what do you think you're doing here, Bozo? Catching a bird? A little hint. You're about to steal my pigeon. Oh, yes, uh, what? I'm not stealing the pigeon, it stole from Conroy. Otherwise, I wouldn't have uh, stolen. Do you come here often? Oh, Whatever. It's love at first sight. Come here. Tell Conroy that from now on, the winds are about to change. Ha! Huzzah! It She's nice one of the rogue people. Okay, keep calm. What would Conroy do? Oh no, he will kill me. I have to find that pigeon, and the girl too, especially the girl, if I only knew her name. Laura, wanted for theft, hostility towards the state of exposure, assault, What well, is that convenient? Radiance. She has a beautiful smile. Ah. So yeah, that was the first puzzle of the inner world. Let's get kick we wander into the next cutscene and see if there's somewhere else to go from this. But um... If it's got another cutscene here, I wouldn't mind seeing that, and then maybe we'll move on. Oh, hedgehog's chasing after him. That one rabid hedgehog. Moving along at the speed of knuckles. Oh, I thought he was going to climb back up in that pipe. So we've got a sniffer dog chasing after us from Conroy, and of course we're off on our own adventure as well. That's a nice singing voice. 
this melody. It's familiar somehow. <laughs> He's probably gonna play it with his nose. Hello. Hello, young man. I've never seen you here before. I'm new in town. Please. Who comes here voluntarily? Actually, I'm just looking for someone. This song. It reminds me of something. Beautiful, isn't it? My dear mother used to sing it to me. Very sweet. All right, let's see if they can find us, Alora. Um, obviously, we're actually in the walkie-talkie, long, investigative bits of a point-click -like adventure. Yes, she just passed me. I have to find her. What a coincidence. I know where the young lady is hanging around. Hmm. Really? Oh, perfect. You have to tell me. She's been stealing from Conroy. Oh, God, no. We're not going to tell him anything. Poor Conroy. I don't even own anything worth stealing since my husband left me. Oh. I'm sorry. You don't have to be. He got turned into stone. Oh. Yes. At least you can rely on the bazillions. Hmm. That's true. Um. You know who she is? I can tell you a thing or two, my boy. Mm. But knowledge comes with a price, if you catch my drift. Apple Rospo uh -huh. Poporo? You don't get it, do you? I'm afraid not. I would like to tell you. But worrying about my baby has made me forget everything. If my baby would be warm again, I could probably remember. Okay. Your baby's cold, but it looks so happy. <laughs> yes, with a smile it can better stand its destiny. Well, the cold. Or the hunger. Or the despair. Jesus! This game has fallen itself oh, with ja so well, not Japanese, French ennui! So much ennui! Sorry. Uh... What? Well, I get sympathy every day for free. What I really need is something for my baby to wear. Oh, I understand, but now I really have to... Thank you, you're an angel. I had a onesie in mind. A what? A onesie. You know, footed pajamas made from straw bear yarn for my baby to wear. Well, ain't that... Wonderful. Um, I'm just gonna stop now. Um, goodbye. <laughs> well then, goodbye. Okay. If you're ever looking for me, you know where to find me. She'll be on that corner. I won't go home, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> where would home be? That's a better question. So yeah, um, I'm gonna save the game here. Uh, we've finished off with the first puzzle of this. You've got a basic idea of what the inner world is actually like, the design and the look of the of the game. So let's go back to the main menu here, just while we're talking about it. The um, inner world obviously is a bizarre post world where everything has actually gone horribly awry. It reminds me a lot of, um, what was the name of the movie shot here in Ireland? It actually had like an underground city, it had Bill Murray in it, and he kind of like ran the city. Uh, God, what was the name of it? Ember. City of Ember, that's what it was. It has a very City of Ember vibe to the, the world that it's actually taking place in. And of course, like it said, you're going to be a rotting garbage and random things and bits and pieces combined together to make the things that get you out of the place that you need to move on to. Um, maybe a little bit of a feeling of uh, Dreamfall or Longest Journey as well in this, but yeah, and Point Click Adventures always have this kind of like summer style. And this looks gorgeous, it's very, very cute. Um, I love the voice acting in it so far. I love the artistic design. I'd love to play further into this and play more of it. Uh, and Inner World is an enjoyable experience so far. I, uh, it's it's not, there's no, um, the, 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 outside of the crash of playing through it and actually having a crash in the first puzzle, 
it's still saved. It still had, didn't lose me any progress. I just had to reboot the game to come back in it. I'm just thinking it might be the way the Unity engine is working. It might actually just, because it's pulling up that animation, so it's actually pulling up a sequence in between. That might be what was causing the problem. But um, yeah, that worked out otherwise extremely well. So uh, yeah, The Inner World, top thumbs up. I actually recommend it. It's a point and click adventure. I want to play again, much more so than even like, like something like with a lineage, like Broken Sword. Broken Sword 6, I don't want to go anywhere near ever again. This actually held my attention. I really enjoyed it. And um, I actually would mind checking it out more. So if you guys would like to see a long play, a playthrough of The Inner World, and you want to know more about this game and see more into its world, then of course you can always look up the game itself. You can look up the company that made it, Head Up Games, or you can actually come here and comment on underneath the video and tell me that you would like to see more that's the important thing you tell me you want to see it then I'll make it that's what the design that's the reason why we have all these new games on the channel and if you actually enjoyed hearing me talk about it and you want to see more stuff on this channel of other games and other things I do then make sure to hit the subscribe button right up there and if you don't do the subscribe thing that's okay you don't have to subscribe you can just search for me past each skin just memorize the name remember it type it into Google and you will find me I'm not trying to hide in any way shape or form and if you happen to be watching this on YouTube There'll be a button up there. There'll be a button up there that'll actually be a playlist. There'll be a button over there that'll actually be the most recent video on the channel. And right here will be a video for you based on the user analytics and the things you do on YouTube. It will pick a video out of what I made for you to watch. So I highly recommend that one. That's the one you should be watching. So thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next click through. Bye.